Welcome back to Ben's Garage. <laughs> a little bit of an update, we've uh, got the bench in. I did that yesterday. Um, <laughs> I made it all up on the floor and I had to try and turn it over, it was bloody heavy. Uh, so the Hobbit and myself sort of, we did it. We struggled a little bit, crowbars, this, that and the other. Cleared that back wall. I've got a couple of signs up now. There are some old vintage road signs over there. I don't, I've not been out pilfering off the roadside. The the arrow was down a dead end road where we used to do some work years and years ago. Um, and they'd replaced it and just left that one on the floor. So I thought, well, I'll have that. <laughs> the bloke crossing the road. Now that is a proper vintage French road sign. That goes back to the day when people used to wear suits and hats to cross the road. Um, <laughs> there we obviously got the Ben's Garage logo and this, that and the other. I've put some little uh, like racking things, just storage boxes on the wall. We're gonna have to take all that off um, when we build the wall up to the, to the beam up there. Um, but just for now, I'll just get stuff off the floor. I've, got, I've just got stuff all over the place. So today I'm having a bit of a tidy up. So yesterday I put this workbench in. I'll give you a closer look at that in a minute. Um, it's not, I'm not a woodworker. I'm not a carpenter or anything like that. So it is, a carpenter would look at it and cry basically, but it's solid. Um, it's all fixed to the floor. It's not going anywhere. I need to put a, like a, a leg in the middle but I, I just didn't feel like getting down on the floor today, so <laughs> that'll be a job for another day. I've got the my engineering vice bolted onto it. That's the, we've got like a little woodworking vice over there. And I've got my bench grinder. Now that's one that's got like a knife sharpener on the end of it. Um, obviously I'll keep that for now, but I, ideally I want one with like a, a wheel on either end so that I can have a grinder and a wire wheel. Um, We'll keep obviously that one for sharpening blades, knives, this, that, and the other. And I've got the, hang on, I've got this. And I've got the uh, the chainsaw sharpener. I've, I'm not going to fix that to the desk, uh, to the bench. I've decided that I'm just going to clamp that to the edge of the bench when I need to um, sharpen any chains. So that's that. Um, it is still pissing hard with rain. What can you do? What can you do? But yeah, we're getting there gradually. Tomorrow, I'm planning, well, I'll bring you along on the video tomorrow. Along this wall, I'm gonna be uh, hopefully fixing the 20 ton press to the floor with some concrete bolts um, and just move everything sort of a, a, away from the doorway. As I've said previous videos, the door, you know, the compressor's right in the doorway. And it's, it, when you're trying to get the Range Rover in, it can be quite awkward. It is a nice big space in here, but oh you just accumulate so much crap don't you anyway let's have a quick look over this stuff Fixed down nicely. Ow. Then you put water in that. You can sharpen your knives up on that one. Although I've been using the welder today, the uh, on the vice here. Those ends are threaded on. Threads had gone on that one, so I've just welded it on, ground it up a little bit. So that pillar drill, I'm gonna move that over that way a little bit. The press, which is there, that's gonna come over about there. I'll say the pi pillar drill, it's gonna move over that way. And then the compressor, which is up there, I'm gonna put there. 
and the metal band saw, I'll just put that wherever it'll go. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, but I'll bring you back tomorrow when we start moving all these tools and bits and pieces about. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Uh, I think we're gonna have to just put the multi-gym over in this corner when we've got everything else done so that I can get the panda in here and we'll crack on with that. Shop dogs. Are you two shop dogs? Yeah. Come here, mate. Rudo. Good boy. Come on. Still got all that lot to deal with. And that, and that. Need to put a, a leg in the middle there. Give it a bit of support in the middle. That wood will be going elsewhere. Oh, I'll be using a bit of it. But uh, yeah, so the press is bolted to the floor now. There's a pipe bender, anvil, pillar drill, move that up. Got the compressor here, so we've got a nice big open space. And a tea and coffee person. Empty there. Empty. So yeah, we should be able to get in the door nice and easy now. So that's it, today's efforts. Um, we're getting there, we're finally getting there. This lot pile in the middle, we're just gonna sort of stick over in this corner for now, so we can get the panda in and get that, get cracking on with that and get some get some work done. Um, but the doorway's nice and clear now, so obviously I've got all that stuff to go through, I have a bit of a de-junk, a bit of a declutter, and uh, yeah, so that's a bit of progress on Ben's garage. Hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, catch the next one. Bye for now.